Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Bellatro. This is Table for Two. And let's jump right into it. Last game, we got, I think, four new jokers. Which I think if everything goes perfectly, that's about what you would hope for. So can't be too upset with that turnout. I'm gonna see if I can get a straight here. I need a queen. Not getting any queens, unfortunately. Let's get rid of these guys. There we go. Nice straight to start us off. Alright, I will grab misprint, and I do want to get this overstock for sure. Getting overstock early, I think, is fantastic. So let's see, seven, eight, nine, ten, Jack. We get decent misprint luck. There we go. It's a one shot clear, and we will have just enough for our overstock. Blade gratification is definitely tempting, but we will have to search for another thing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to get it all in one there, but we can get a nice little full house here. All right, and you know, an early business card? Do not mind if I do. And with that, let's just get rid of everything except for face cards. And try to maximize them as much as we can here. Um, okay, so we can go 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King. Nice little straight. At $4. Mm, okay. For now, I think we wait. We're not really dedicated to one hand right now. So I don't think Supernova is necessary. I will take a free full house though. There we go, we got six. Six dollars here. Okay, now let's see. I think Burglar could be really good here. Let's see if we can get a Hermit or something. Wheel of Fortune. Not really what we're going for. I think judgment is fine. Yeah, we got the banana, whatever. Now, is this the last blind? Yes, so we do want to grab this grabber. And I will get a, will I get the burglar? We must play five cards. Actually, I don't think I will. I think right now we're going to be better off not getting the burglar. Let's go full house. Not gonna get too greedy, trying to get more face cards right now. Yeah, you can never really tell with the misprint what you're gonna end up with. Okay, we got Dusk. That's not too bad. Um, let's grab Arcana. Chariot, Hangman, and Tower. I don't mind giving us two a steel finish. And you know, we don't have a lot of synergy, but maybe we can build toward it. So let's grab Dusk, see what we can find here. Discard, discard, discard again. Come on, where are the face cards hiding? There we go. Another full house. Really just whatever will give us the most face cards is what we're going for here. Alrighty. Let's do that. Maybe we could play for a straight here. How many tens do we have left? We have two tens. I'll get rid of these. We're looking for tens. 
there it is. And what I'm actually gonna do is try to play these three twice. So I'm just gonna discard a two. And by discard, I mean play a two. And then this Dusk will give us two chances for every face card to get our business card payout. All right, not bad. Alrighty, so let's grab Arcana again. Hermit, I think is great. Can be better than the other two right now. Let's grab Clearance Sale. And let's see, what do we want here? Todd, Todd doesn't work too well with our business card play, but 10 Molt is basically just the banana, but better. So I think we might want to go here. And then let's roll. Justice sounds great. We can set up a huge Dusk turn on the last round. And let's see. I'm gonna wait to get a Celestial Pack. See if we can flesh out our build a little more before we commit. Um, let's discard these guys. Discard these. All right, let's get Queens and two Aces for a nice full house. 5,700, I didn't see what misprint was, but 57's not too bad. Check out Arcana. We got 10 from here. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use Justice on the Queen, and then we're gonna use Death to get two Last Queens. And we're playing a lot of Full House, we might as well upgrade that. Ooh, they really want us to go all in on this. So I think, let's see, do we have misprint? Yes, we do. I will get rid of misprint then in favor of DNA. And let's keep going. So we have zero discards right now. I think, I'm not going to greed for this extra DNA, especially if we don't have our glass queen here. So let's just get a good hand. Yeah, that'll be good to start. Um, let's throw this in. It's not going to give us a whole lot, but we have two kings. I think we can try to just get base cards at this point. Let's go here. We need a king or a jack. Really, we don't need either. We're doing quite all right. And now Dusk is going to re-trigger with our business card, which is perfect. Hopefully we get a ton of money from it. Oh, that was beautiful. You'll love to see that. Okay, let's grab Emperor, Justice is great, Hanged Man, maybe we'll use it on Arcana here, let's see. Let's just get rid of these guys, and then we can use, I'll tell you what, I don't want to do more Glass Queens because the second to last boss will debuff all of our face cards. So what I'm actually gonna try to do is use it on probably an ace or something, one of our high odd cards. And that way we can diversify our build a little bit. For now, I am perfectly fine just using Hermit. We'll grab death here and start leveling up that full house. 
Level it up again. How many times have we played Full House 7? Not fantastic. Not something we really need Supernova for. Especially if we already have a win with it. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to discard these guys until we get an ace. I'm going to use Justice on the ace. And then I'm going to clone the ace with death. And then I'm going to use the ace with DNA. And of course it breaks, so net neutral on the ace front. And then let's just... I think this is winning here. Hopefully this queen doesn't break too. It's a 1 in 4. I would hope it doesn't. And it does. So we're just under 7,000. Um, I do not want to use the aces here. Let's just do... King high, drop a 4. So that was pretty unlucky. We played two glass cards and broke two glass cards. Not what you want to see. Justice again. Let's grab a queen. Upgrade our full house again. Do we have more high cards? We do. Well, we need to start working on that. Alright, let's use this. We don't need that. Don't need that. Grab death. Okay, so let's do... Let's duplicate the ace. We're gonna turn this three into a glass ace. And then let's get rid of some of these guys. Okay, how do we want to play this? Discard a few. We got four of a kind here. We really don't want to be doing that, though. I'm afraid we might not have a choice, though. So let's just go for it and hope that we don't get too unlucky here. Good, okay. So we got jacks and twos. Let's see if that's enough here. Not quite. We got a ginormous full house. So I'm gonna try to do a high card and we can double count all of these guys. Too bad. Hmm, okay. I think Wheel of Fortune. I don't like the others a ton. And now we're getting all these high cards. I will play high card buffs, just because why not. But I'd rather be getting full house buffs, if I will be honest. Let's do, we'll play the one ace, get a duplicate here, doesn't break, that is great. Let's play full house, neither of those broke, wonderful. Alright, another arcana pack, let's see, we could do emperor. 
think that's probably gonna be our best play. See what we get. Hermit. Always gonna take that. We got full house, luckily. And let's see. Do we have a win with Scholar? We do not. Let's get rid of the banana. We'll grab Scholar. I don't think we can guarantee this one, so I'm not going to play into it too much. Um, okay. Just keep pushing. Come on, where are the aces? There they are. So let's go here. Lost one, so we're net even on that one. Grab Pluto, grab the Arcana pack, of course. Another Justice, but we don't have any Aces or Queens. So is it worth doing? We could do a 9, I guess. We actually only have one Queen left. We're going to have to start duplicating some of those guys. Yeah, let's get a 9. Why not? Okay, start discarding. I will duplicate this queen this time. Every time I duplicate a queen, it dies. I don't know what it is. Alrighty, hopefully this queen doesn't die, but we'll see, I guess. Because if it does, that's the last glass queen we've got. Okay, it's the ace, so that's it's manageable. Grab another earth. Gladly use a death card here. Grab another Jumbo Celestial. Die card, sure. And let's go into the boss. I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to try to duplicate this 9. Hopefully it doesn't break. Good. Okay, so this one I think we're going to have to play for Dusk Angle. So we're going to throw our aces on the side here. I don't think we need all three. I think just two glass aces will be plenty. So let's throw this in, see how it goes. None of them broke, that is huge. <laughs> Holy moly, we're at 256,000. Okay. This is getting absolutely huge. I'm loving it. Okay. We'll death this card. This might be the largest hand we've gotten. 
by a long shot so far. Um, grab a strength. Maybe we'll use it at some point. Another full house. Okay, now let's, before we get too ambitious here, make sure we got some good cards to win with. We don't have DNA yet. We don't have Odd Todd. Do we have Business Card? We do not. We don't have Dusk. We don't have Scholar. So if we can win with... I guess I'll probably have to sell one of them to get our Glass cards working, but... Oh boy. This could be enormous. Okay. Switching it up a bit. I know we already have Blueprint, but this would be the largest hand I've ever gotten. And I'm going to say that's worth it. So DNA will keep... No, we'll get rid of DNA. Sell you to get the Blueprint. So we're going to Blueprint Dusk. And then... We'll just have to get rid of one of these. We'll probably get rid of Odd Todd. I think it's a really good card. So is Scholar, but it won't be too hard to get a win with them later. All right, discard. So we want full house with only glass cards. Ideally with three aces. There we go. And then we're gonna run down all of these so we're on our final hand okay now do we want a flush house 220 100, yes we actually do okay so let's get rid of which one's better, Odd Todd or Scholar? I think Scholar's probably... Well, that's going to be better here. Okay. Scratch that. We're going to keep Scholar because that'll work with Dusk. So let's get rid of Odd Todd. And then we want it in this order. So that when it goes off, the Scholar will also be applying before it starts multiplying a ton. Okay, this is the largest hand possibly ever recorded, ever. Sixteen million. That is insane. <laughs> All right, business card check. Blueprint we already had, which we knew. Dusk check, and then scholar check. That was satisfying. That's <laughs> that, that's an I score. That's right. Oh my lord. Okay. Well. That was fun. Hope y'all enjoyed. We got, what is that? Three more jokers crossed off. So now we're at, we pull up our tracker. We're at 22 out of 45 for the red deck. So, so far so good. Hope y'all are enjoying and I will see you all on the next episode.